Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hey there everybody, Jim here, Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Today we're going to talk about something called an oxygenated implant system. Now, as you know, we talk quite a bit about transplanting beta cells and we are often preoccupied, as is the science world, with protecting those beta cells from the immune reaction, right? Well, there's also another key that has to be settled and that is getting oxygen to these transplanted beta cells. Well, the people at Cornell University have been thinking about that for quite a long time and they have developed an apparatus that we're gonna talk about in detail today. So thanks for coming back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. Please do hit that like and subscribe button. We like to get this important information out to as many people around the globe as possible. Now let's find out what they've been up to at Cornell University Medical School. Here's the latest breakthrough from Cornell University on a new implant system aimed at treating type 1 diabetes. What's new? The Oxygenated Implant System, published August 11, 2025 in Nature Communications. Innovation. Researchers led by Minglin Ma have developed a bioelectronics-assisted macro-encapsulation beam system. It uniquely combines immune protection with a miniature electrochemical oxygen generator, enabling dense insulin-producing cells islets, to survive without immunosuppression. How it works. Capsule design. A cylindrical, ring-shaped capsule houses insulin-secreting cells. It features an immune-protective nanofibrous coating and a permeable membrane, facilitating nutrient and oxygen exchange. Oxygen Generator IEOG The heart of the system is a dime-sized, implantable device that utilizes the electrolysis of surrounding tissue moisture to generate oxygen. It continuously delivers this oxygen to the cells via a silicone tube running through the capsule. Proof of concept, in animals, under extremely low oxygen conditions, both rat insulinoma cells and human pancreatic islets remained viable and functional when oxygenated. In contrast, non-oxygenated controls suffered nearly complete cell death within 24 hours. In rats, diabetic rats implanted with the oxygenated device achieved normalized blood glucose levels in as little as three days. These levels remained stable for up to 88 days, about three months non-oxygenated implants failed to control hyperglycemia. Reversibility. Once oxygen supply was halted, blood sugar levels immediately spiked, underscoring that continuous oxygen delivery is critical for long-term islet function. The significance. Immune protection without suppression. The oxygenated macro-encapsulation system bypasses the need for immunosuppressive drugs, reducing risk and improving patient safety and quality of life. Supports high-density cell loads, Traditional encapsulation fails at scale due to oxygen scarcity. This design ensures dense islet volumes remain viable and functional. Potential for long-term, low-maintenance therapy. Researchers envision eventual human implants that can be recharged wirelessly and safely clear byproducts, offering sustained therapy with minimal patient burden. Next steps. Scaling to larger models. The team plans to test the device in pig models and with human stem cell-derived islets. Long-term vision, a future human-grade version may incorporate a rechargeable, wireless power system and efficient designs to manage byproducts like hydrogen produced during oxygen generation. Summary table feature details. Key innovation capsule with oxygen generator IEOG and immune shielding. Functionality keeps dense islet cells alive without immunosuppression. Animal results, normalize blood glucose in rats for up to 88 days. Future goals, pig and human testing, wireless charging, broader therapeutic use. Why is this system so important? Scalable dose delivery, higher cell density enables realistic therapeutic dosing in a compact form. No immunosuppression, the system works without immune drugs, thanks to the immunoprotective membrane. Sustained functionality, continuous oxygen supply proved critical. Implant function ceased quickly once oxygen delivery stopped. Minimally invasive framework, 
The linear and streamlined design promotes easier implantation and retrieval, key for clinical translation. Bottom line, this oxygen-generating encapsulation implant represents a significant advancement toward a functional cure for type 1 diabetes. It potentially allows for long-term insulin independence without immune-suppressing drugs. Although still in its early stages, the technology offers a promising and adaptable platform for future regenerative medicine and the treatment of chronic diseases. Okay, oxygenated systems to protect those beta cells, getting them some good old H2O so they can survive. Now, I think the big takeaway, and what we love hearing here, even though this is in its infancy, technologically speaking, they're still working on it, the next step is to pigs and then human beings for clinical testing. So you're looking at three to six years probably. Uh, but I love the idea that again, it's without immunosuppression. So if you're seeing a pattern here, more and more of the therapies that are under development from a whole host of companies are really trying to solve the immunosuppression hurdle, get over that hurdle and solve that problem because none of us want to take immunosuppressants. So we wish them all the best. We will continue to monitor what Cornell University is doing with this, and we will wish the very best for them. Until then, you take care of yourselves. We'll have another exciting video for you here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors very soon. Bye for now.